Florida's newest and best in radio, Sunshine Radio 96.7 FM. Raise your right hand and repeat after me. I say your name. I say your name. You solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. To support and defend. Support and defend. The Constitution of the United States. The Constitution of the United States. Against all enemies. Against all enemies. Foreign and domestic. Foreign and domestic. And to bear true faith. And bear true faith. And allegiance to the same. And allegiance to the same. Then I will obey. I will obey. The orders of. The orders of. The President of the United States. The President of the United States. And the orders of. And the orders of. Those officers, Those officers appointed over me, appointed over me according, to regulations, according to regulations and the Uniform Code of Military Justice. Uniform Code of Military Justice. So, help me God. so help me God. Rise and shine to Sunshine Radio 96.7, Saturday mornings. This is Voice for Veterans and the rest of us who say we support veterans too. News. Commentary, information, education, it's music, and entertainment. New just for you, 96.7. Now, you've heard the rest. Stay tuned for the best. Rise and shine to Sunshine Radio and stay with us all day long. Well, here we go again. Hi, this is Keith, the boss of the beach, coming to you live right here from St. Petersburg, Florida. And today's subject is always about veterans, what we can do to help veterans, what veterans are doing to help us. We like talking about veteranization. That's a little strange word, but I'm going to make it a household word. But veterans have stood for this country and built it more than once. From World War I to World War II, back to the almost the Crimean War, when America wasn't even part of the game. But We've been fighting for this country and making it what it is today, and we're proud of it. Today, I'm going to be talking a little bit more about what's happening in our community, which is activities, activities from private companies, activities from churches, activities that come along with being in the greatest area in modern time. We all remember the days when New York was king. California became king. You know, uh, when you say the word Baywatch, you think of California. When we say the word Bay, we think of Bay Pines. It's all a part of the system. And in the last 20 years, Florida has done pretty well in this country. Years before it was California, Texas has done well, Chicago and New York. But Florida's kind of king right now, and we happen to be in the king's court. Tampa, St. Pete, Clearwater, Sarasota, Fort Myers, Zephyr Hills, and all the counties that surround us. We want to be grateful, and every time we mention Bay Pines, and we want them to say plenty of gratefulness when it comes to James Haley. When you look around this country, a lot of VA hospitals, medical centers don't have the prestige that we have. So we're going to flout it, tell everybody, if you got a problem, call us. And if you're doing anything with Bay Pines or James Haley, thank them for what they do. Yes, they're going to make some changes because they always have to. But guess what? They're doing it. So stay tuned. We're going to continue on, and I'm going to be doing something. Let's take a break and be right back. Well, we're back again, and I'm going to tell you thank you for tuning in right here right now. The best in radio. Now I want to give you some information. Take a minute, get your pencil, paper, whatever it is. Recruitmilitary.com. Now the COVID is beginning to wane. There's a lot more jobs available. Let's fill them. Recruitmilitary.com. Of course, they're going to be having job fairs probably all over the country. But in our local area on the 20th, they will be hosting one somewhere in our area. Hopefully, you veterans and people who know other people who would like 
to get involved, get involved. Have a good time. Enjoy yourself. And this information is just for you. All you listeners out there, send the word out. RecruitMilitary.com. Go to the website. Find out a lot more about it. See what we can do to help fill these jobs. Oh, we got some of the best information coming at all times. Tune in. Of course, this is 96.7 on Saturday morning. And WVETOnlineRadio.com all the time. 24-7. Stay with us. More to come. American Veterans Alliance, WVETOnlineRadio.com. Where the hell you been? You think I ain't see you over there talking to that woman next door? You think I'm blind or something? I got a woman. I got a woman. Oh, what's her name? I got a woman. I got a woman. Oh, what's her name? Well, I hope you enjoyed that little interlude. We're back and we're going to talk about homeless veteran statistics. These statistics are compiled in each area. And for this area, I want to read them off. So that you get an idea of what's going on. In Pinellas County, 329 veterans spend each night in locations not meant for habitation. In the U.S., Florida has the second highest number of homeless veterans with close to 3,000. And that goes with, you know, the 1.4 million veterans, risk of homelessness due to poverty, lack of support networks, extreme shortage, and affordable housing. Those are statistics. Now, they're worse in a lot of areas, but they're bad enough here. We want to make sure that if you have any needs, you can tune in right here, folks. This is WVET Online Radio, of course, for veterans. And you can get some help. Somehow, some way, tune in and help somebody. That always comes back. There's a couple of other things that I'd like to talk about, which is celebrate outreach. There are a lot of outreach programs in our area throughout the state. But especially here, because we have one of the premier bases here. We have a lot of help. Take advantage of it. And remember, you can always ask. We have strong churches out here, and a lot of the uh, city programs are active. Especially since now that COVID is beginning to wane a little bit, they're having more time to service other needs and they're doing it and as we go forward starting on next week we'll be talking a little bit more about the COVID situation but right now we're grateful that that's not being a real problem at this point no more than we can have to stay on point wear your mask if you're inside if you're outside enjoy the sunshine breathe you know go ahead and enjoy the breath so Big Heart provides homeless veterans with their own way of doing it, tiny homes, available housing, apartments, extra room. Do it. It'll be good for you and good to you. And I know that a lot of the traveling in this state is still good. All your rest stops and different locations seem to be doing all right, but be sure and social distance when you have to. And then when you don't, don't. As other things go along, I want everybody to know that we here appreciate all of the efforts that even people like AAA and AARP out here do in support of our veterans. So if you happen to need to check in, check in with those organizations anytime you can and other statewide as you come to visit and hang out as a veteran and get all of the benefits that we here to let you know about. Now, for just a little bit more, we're going to take some time here. Veterans, it's your turn to serve. And what we mean by that is go out, get with some of your other veterans out in the community and see what they might have a need for and get back with us. And let's see if we can help them. And that means everything. Your prescriptions, drug situation, you got to deal with your 
out-of-pocket expenses, and a lot of veterans who are out there don't get this information. So we hope that you're listening, and you can get some of this information that talks about your Medicare and Medicaid and what benefits you get because you are a veteran so that you're better equipped to do what it takes to take care of yourself and your family. A lot of these benefits are there for your family. You know, so look out. Let's do that. And let's make sure that we take some time and follow that protocol. You stay tuned. We'll be right back. A little more for you. Well, there was a big round of applause today for this new project in St. Pete. Students with the University of South Florida's School of Architecture and a group called Celebrate Outreach teaming up to build tiny homes to help homeless veterans. It's a great idea. Fox 13's Elizabeth Fry was at today's groundbreaking and joins us now with more on Elizabeth. These small homes are making a big difference for the people who've served our country. Yeah, that's right, Chris. It was an exciting day for those in the St. Petersburg community and also an exciting day for veterans as this groundbreaking signifies a new hope for many and an opportunity for veterans to have a fresh start. A project three years in the making, today finally becoming a reality. <laughs> Breaking ground on the first of what the community hopes will be many tiny homes for veterans. We wanted to create a small home, but uh, we wanted to go beyond that uh, and uh, create a home that it doesn't generate, you know, sort of a burden, but actually allows them to... A normal life. Designed with veterans in mind, the 500 square foot home will be made to accommodate anyone from any background. Disabilities, PTSD, all the things that these soldiers go through that then as veterans they suffer through. So we made a plan that was very open. Their small size making them easy to maintain and easy to afford. They're going to be homeowners. The veteran will need to have some form of monthly subsidy, a steady subsidy. Um, they will need to go through the first time home buyer program, counseling program, and to apply for first time home buyer down payment assistance. 94 year old World War II veteran Jabo Stewart has never been homeless himself, but he knows firsthand the struggles and challenges veterans face when returning home. You've gone on for three years or four or five years, and everything changed in your lifestyle. He believes the tiny homes just might be the helping hand veterans need to get back on their feet. If I didn't have a home, I would feel horrible. And if anybody could help me, I would be very happy and gratified to them. Something the St. Petersburg community believes is important, giving back to those who sacrificed so much. Now, the construction on the first tiny home is expected to be complete within six months. However, the goal is that this tiny home will be the first of many throughout the St. Petersburg community, giving deserving veterans a place they can call their own. Chris. Yeah, for people who have done so much for all of us, it seems like the least we can do. It's a great program. Thanks, Elizabeth. The mission of Celebrate Outreach is to eliminate homelessness, and we do this both on a structural level and on an immediate need level. Uh, we're doing it through direct services like our meal share program, we do it through ad advocacy, and we're doing it through, hopefully, building tiny homes for veterans who are facing homelessness. The key to ending homelessness is to make homes, affordable homes, and so that's why we are doing this tiny homes mission. From interviewing and from talking to some of the possible candidates, we identified that that person experiencing homelessness, uh, it could have been you or it could have been me. First concerned about our veterans, but all people need homes. Uh, uh, you and I need homes. And so uh, you or I be could become homeless. It could happen to anyone. Really what makes us different is our partnership with USF Architecture Program. They have been designed to be sustainable to be accessible, to be sensitive to veterans who may be facing PTSD. Uh, part of the program of the tiny homes is to incorporate those needs into the design. And in Hostway's class, he has veterans who have been advising the other students and uh, explaining to them, for example, how someone with PTSD has certain needs and how the design can reflect that. But some of the issues that were important to us from the design aspect was notion like PTSD, affordability, maintenance. We didn't want to provide a house that it would be the cheapest possible or the more affordable 
and then forgive a burden to the now resident. The exciting thing about this program is that it incorporates specific needs of homeless vets as opposed to other people. And it's built right into the, uh, the design. And that makes it unique and that makes it especially important. Um, the biggest challenge is for us to raise the capital. We need approximately $30,000. We have received some in-kind services. We've got pro bono services from the architect on record. Uh, this, there are students who will be building cabinetry. But we need capital for supplies, and so that is our biggest challenge. So another thing that we really need is land. In addition to capital, we need land. And what makes us, what puts us in a really terrific position is that because there are tiny houses, we can use land known as substandard land, that would be substandard for a typical builder, but perfect for us. I mean, these houses are less than 500 square feet. The, the challenge this project faces, for one, we need money, we need resources. The good thing is, this is a wonderful project, and we have a lot of folks contributing. Um, we have people who, architects of course, but we also have folks who have skills that they can contribute. And the good thing about this program and the good thing about Celebrate Outreach is no matter what your skills are, you can contribute. It is a most rewarding experience. I have received more um, benefit than I could ever give from being involved with this, this organization, Celebrate Outreach. Um, you get back 10 times more than you could even imagine. Part of the satisfaction of being involved with Celebrate Outreach is that you work with people who are passionate about helping others, specifically people who are homeless.
why you over there running your mouth? The mortgage haven't even been paid. You ain't paid the car no, you ain't bought no food. I'm tired of this mess. And then you want some love. And look at that bald head. I just might be the son. She fuck about the way I wear my hair. She fuck about the nails that ain't even there. She fuck about the kids hanging out in the street. She fuck about the boys wearing bridges to the knees. I got a hustle by a woman. I got a hustle by a woman. Oh, she fuss at me. I got a hustle by a woman. I got a hustle by a woman. Oh, she fuss at me. When she feels fussing, y'all go. Whoa, that love is right on time. Right on time. Hey, you know, uh, all of us know women that fuss. When well, my mother fuss, when your mother probably fuss. But they, it was all good fuss. So when you grow up and get into a relationship, fella, don't get caught up in their fuss. Just let them fuss. But then bring you some flowers and do something nice and sweet. And bring out that uh, femininity in them, bruh. And get that good old makeup fussing up. You know, because when you finish fussing, you're going to make up. Don't go to bed at night without making up for fussing. So, let me fuss about the rent, the car note, the girl next door, all they want. But you know that you're dedicated and motivated to your fussing by a woman. Get in there and get all that. Bring it to me, baby. I want to do it right. Because I know your fussing going to bring off some good love. So keep on fussing, baby. If I'm a fussy fire women out there, let the fellas know what you really mean when you fuss. All righty. Well, I love it. I love it. I love it. And that is a song by one of our military veterans. And he's always out here doing a little blues, doing a little music. For sure. Thank you for that song, Morris. And we appreciate it. I know you continue to support the music throughout a lot of events that veterans attend. We salute you. This is Morris, marvelous Morris Roberts. And you can, of course, check him out on the internet. Pull him up. He's got a lot more great music there, and he is a veteran, both Army and Marine. Quite unique and a good friend. All right. Now, ladies and gentlemen, of course, we want to tell everybody that there's a lot of things going on in the Tampa and St. Pete area. Please support all the activities. All righty. Now, I'm going to take it from right here. Let's say there's a lot of things happening in the St. Pete, Tampa area. A lot of music, a lot of entertainment. And we have a lot of great local artists. I'm telling all the local artists, tune in, find us. WBETOnlineRadio.com. And, of course, you can find us right here at 96.7 FM, Sunshine Radio. Please, get us some of your music and all that new music and that young music, that fresh music that's making this day and time important. And let's make Tampa one of the music capitals. We've all had the New Yorks and the LAs and the Miamis. Now it's time for Tampa to let its music heard everywhere. And we want to say support you in many ways. One other bit of information I did been wanting to talk about is Congress finalized sweeping veterans policy bill, and this has been a year or so ago. But we want to say the Benefits Improvement Act of 2020 is in place. A lot of legislation was done. Women's health was taken care of. Legislation for all the veterans. It dedicates $20 million for more VA benefits to those out there. Please check on your benefits. See what new information has been put before you. And as you look around, you got to remember all of our VSOs, of course, our Latin VSOs, U.S. and Latin Veterans Support Embassy, and our DAP. Remember, they're here to help. 
don't be afraid to get involved with them, contact them, let them know that you are paying attention so that we can help. Young people are going to be the benefit. We hope that this is one of the final big wars, but if not, we have made a way for the youth that's going to get into the military and get back out better than it was for us. And we know how that is. If we can do better than our parents, we did what we were supposed to do. And our parents didn't do too bad. So we definitely not going to do too bad. One other place I want you to be sure and take care of is, of course, the health care system. And what I mean is Veterans Crisis Line. Don't forget, if there is a problem, there's help. And if you're one of those that support veterans and all they bring to the table, bad and good, don't forget, make sure that they know a number for the crisis line, 800-273-8255, Veterans Crisis Line. And believe me, it's been such a benefit to our veterans who came back from Afghanistan and Iraq, those recent wars, because times have gotten better. And there's a special treatment program course, substance abuse rehabilitation and recovery treatment program provides individual long-term residential care veterans recover from diagnosis substance abuse problems. We want to make sure that you know that that is available. And you can course the crisis line and here wvetonlineradio.com tune in and for all those who love good music stay with us we're going to continue to add new music to the catalog because that's important and we know that there's a lot of young people out here bringing some new Marvin Gaye to the table you know some new Jefferson Airplane to the table and some real new Count Basie and Little Richard. There's a lot of them out there, and we want to hear from you. Be sure and contact us. And let us know, everybody. And as you go through your radio stations, don't forget radio is back. 96.7 FM. And before me, there's a little jazz. And after me, there's other good music. But guess what? And listen to what I say. We ask you to stay. Keep the boss of the beach. Again, one more time, rain or shine. Blessing. Out. Inside the Sunshine Radio 96.7, Saturday mornings. This is Voice for Veterans and the rest of us who say we support veterans too. News, commentary, information, education, music, and entertainment. New just for you, 96.7. Now, you've heard the rest. Stay tuned for the best. Rise and shine to Sunshine Radio and stay with us all day long. Tune in again, 24-7, WBET, onlineradio.com.